This question was asked in a math competition where we are given these three nonlinear equations, and using them, we are asked to find the values of x plus y plus z, which I will also write as summation of x in short. So, can you solve it? I came across the same question, though with different values, on Quora, where someone solved it using algebra. That method is solid and works well, and obviously, it's the first approach that comes to mind. But your mind will be blown away when I will show you a solution presented by another user who used a very unique geometric approach. This is what math is all about. When we see a problem being solved with an unexpected method, like geometry for what seems like a purely algebraic problem, it leaves us in shock and stays with us far beyond the classroom. Okay, let us start. In order to solve this, let me tell you about the law of cosines in a triangle, which relates the lengths of the sides to the angle between them. If we have a triangle with sides A, B, and C, and the angle opposite side C is called C, then the law says C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2 times. A times B times cos C. Oh, wow. Can you see something? If I take a as x, b as y, and c as 3, then this becomes x squared plus y squared minus 2, xy, cause c equals 3 squared, or 9. Compare with this, and everything is same except for the coefficient of xy, which is 1 here, and it is minus 2, cause c here. So equate both to get minus 2, cause c equals 1, or cos c equals minus 1 over 2, which means angle c equals 120 degrees. Thus, we can represent this equation using this triangle. Whoa, that is simply beautiful. Similarly, we can represent this equation using this triangle, where this will be 120 degrees. This side is y, this is z, and this will be the root of 49, which is 7. And this equation using this triangle, where this will be 120 degrees, this side is x, this is z, and this will be the root of this value, or root of 64, which is 8. Now let me tell you another secret about triangles. What will be the area of this triangle whose sides are a, b, c, and the angle opposite side, c, is c? It will be half of a times b, times sine of angle C. So, what will be the area of this triangle? So its area will be half of xy times sine of 120 degrees, which is root 3 over 2. Thus, the area will be equal to root 3 times xy over 4. Similarly, the area of this triangle will be equal to root 3 times y, z over 4, and this will be root 3 times xz over 4. So the total area of this big triangle will be equal to the sum of all these three areas, which is root 3 over 4 times xy plus y, z plus xz. But we can also find the area of this big triangle using Heron's formula. The three sides of the triangle are 3, 7, and 8. First, we calculate the semi-perimeter, which is 3 plus 7 plus 8, divided by 2, that is 9. Now. Using Heron's formula, the area is equal to the square root of 9 times 9 minus 3 times 9 minus 7 times 9 minus 8. This simplifies to 6 root 3. So, total area is 6 root 3. Now equating both expressions for the area, we get root 3 over 4 times this sum, which we will represent using summation of xy, is equal to 6 root 3. Canceling root 3 and multiplying 4 on both sides, we get sum of xy as 24. Super noise. Now just add all these three equations. We get 2 times x square plus 2, y square plus 2, z square plus sum of xy equals 9 plus 49 plus 64, or 122. Let us also express x square plus y square plus z square as summation of x square. Thus we get 2 times sum of x square equals 122 minus sum of xy, which is equal to 24, 
or this will become 98. So sum of x square becomes 49. Now we know that the sum of x whole square equals the sum of x square plus 2 times the sum of xy, which becomes 49 plus 2 times 24, or giving us 97. Taking the square root on both sides, we get x plus y plus z is equal to square root of 97, and that's our final answer. Isn't this method super cool? If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.